Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nanya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about bicarbonate test in blood. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is this test. Bicarbonate test is also known as CO2 test, that is carbon dioxide test. It is so because CO2, that is carbon dioxide, is present in the body in form of bicarbonate. So, what does this test do? This test measures the level of bicarbonate in the blood. So, how is the test performed? For this test, a sample of blood is withdrawn from the vein of your arm. The sample is then collected and sent to the lab. The results usually come in a day or two depending on the lab. So, how can you prepare for this test? This test usually requires no preparations. But make sure you inform your doctor about all the medications that you are taking, including the OTCs that is over-the-counter pills. Also, do not stop taking any medications by yourself before the test. So, is this test painful or are there any risks related to it? This test is almost painless. You'll only feel a stinging sensation when the needle is inserted. Also, while taking this test, make sure the needle is sterilized and the area is well cleaned so as to avoid any complications or infections. So now let us know why is this test performed? What is the need of this test? This test is usually done as a part of electrolyte or basic metabolic panel. Changes in CO2 may indicate that you are either losing or retaining too much of fluid. And this losing and retaining of the fluid may cause imbalance in the electrolytes in the body. CO2 levels in the body are also affected by kidney and lung functions. The kidney help maintain normal bicarbonate levels. Sometimes an abnormal bicarbonate level may also indicate that there is a kidney problem or a kidney condition. But additional tests might be required to confirm the diagnosis. Now let us talk about the results. The normal range for this test is 23 to 29 milliequivalents per liter. These ranges may vary from lab to lab, so it is highly advisable to talk to your doctor after reports. Any value higher than 29 or lower than 23 may be considered abnormal. Higher than normal value may indicate Cushing syndrome and Barter syndrome. This may also mean metabolic alkalosis and respiratory acidosis. Lower than normal value may indicate kidney disease or Addison's disease. It may also indicate metabolic acidosis and respiratory alkalosis. It can also lead to diarrhea and lactic acidosis. If your results are abnormal, your doctor might require additional tests or might require to repeat the test to confirm the diagnosis. After interpreting your reports and your medical history, your doctor might talk with you to develop a treatment plan that works best for you. It's also equally important to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.